Not as soon as I could, girl. Here we are, just like before. Some beer, some beer for the ladies. distinction of commanding the biggest pack of mashers, cutthroats, and brigands since Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah, they sure are a bunch of charm boys, aren't they? <laughs> oh, come on now, Captain. The boys are going island happy, and there's nothing to do on that rock. They're bored. Bored? How could those bandits of yours possibly be bored? Why, they've taken so many rides in the paddy wagon, I'm thinking of making them honorary members of the Shore Patrol. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> yes, sir. Pulling that false air raid alarm last night, that was absolutely outrageous. I'm gonna buck this right on up to the Admiral. Well, that's your privilege, Captain. But I still don't think it's fair to keep him on restriction for so long. Oh, you don't, huh? Well, if it was up to me, I'd throw you all in the brig and I'd melt the key. But I can't. <laughs> Now, Mikhail, I've got a mission for you. It's reconnaissance on the island of Tuvalagi. Ah. And if you and your men don't start acting Navy, so help me, Nimitz, I'll... <laughs> well, you'd better believe it. I will. <laughs> picture about dames? Fooled me. Penelope of Blueberry Hill. Yeah, but how much can we take? We've seen it seven times. We've seen it eight times, but who counts? I like it. Ah, you like raw fish, too. Hey, how about a little Dolly Dumpling? Ooh. Uh, Son of the monster? That's oh, the right. Nice. Hey, is it my fault to restrict it? It was your idea to raid the nurses' quarters. Well, you didn't squawk when you had your arms around that stacked plot. Yeah, what a time for those SPs to come in, right in mid-pocket. In what? <laughs> Oh, excuse us, Skip. We thought you was an officer. Yeah, yeah, you're not bomb food, yeah? Well, don't let it happen again. Now, Skip, what happened? What'd the captain say? Well, I thought for a minute that he was going to pop his braid. You should have heard him. McHale. <laughs> you have the distinction of commanding the greatest pack of mashers, cutthroats, and brigands since Genghis Khan. <laughs> Unquote. Genghis Khan? What outfit's he with? He's a tall, skinny guy in the medics. Are we still on uh, restriction? Did you talk him out of it? What's the captain gonna do to us, Well, if Binghamton had his way, he'd ship me back to my old steamer. And turn the rest of you guys into deckhands on a live bait bar. Oh, oh, However, <laughs> unfortunately, he needs us. We're going on a mission. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Tuvalagi. Tuvalagi? Is that one of ours? Well, up to last week, it belonged to the Goonie Birds. But a small party of nips snuck in and pushed the Goonies off. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There'll be no fight in this trip. Our mission is strictly to observe. See what kind of hanky panky is going on in that uh, little anthill. Oh, oh, I think we were better off with poop, poop, did him, did him, what him, chew. Listen, Skip, before we shove off, could we please get some new movies? How about that? Well, if there's any movies on the base, I'll get them. I think Genghis Khan would have done the same for his bunch of cutthroats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lieutenant, thought you said they didn't have any new ones. Get a load of this. 30 seconds over Tokyo. Action in the North Atlantic. Dawn Patrol with Errol Flynn. Sorry, gents, those are already spoken for. Who? Who? Come on. Let me reason with him. One hand a showdown, a little gin rummy, clobbyash, anything. Captain Binghamton does not play cards with enlisted men. And what's more, he's been waiting for Earl Flynn and Humphrey Bogart for six months now. Look, 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 come here, come here, come here. Can't you stall him for a few weeks? He just loved Penelope of Blueberry Hill. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant, how long have you had that uh, 50 cent piece in your ear? What? <laughs> how about that? It's a silver dollar. Look, I saw this in an old George Rapp movie. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I know what killed vaudeville. Thank you. The hand is slower than the eye. Anything else, Commander? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but... Yes, yes, uh, as a matter of fact, there is. Uh, I'd like a half dozen bucks of those things right up there. Of what? Of those gizmos right up on top over there. You know, oh, you know, the guys are wild about them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the, just six boxes of those, that's right. <laughs> that's good. Yes, sir. <laughs> You guys are wild about these? Uh-huh. I couldn't get along without them. <laughs> Garter belts? <laughs> yes! Yes! For, for, for trading with the natives! <laughs> they make the craziest slingshots you ever saw! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay, Lee. <laughs> Thanks a million now. Right. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Carpenter, there goes boat 73 to Tuvalagi. Brave men. Brave men. Who knows if we'll ever see them again. <laughs> yes, Carpenter, the ancient sailors used to believe that the world was flat. I just imagine if that were so, a boat could sail right off the edge and drop out of sight. Oh, well. Go <laughs> ahead. Your movie, sir. Oh, it's about time. You know, Lieutenant, I once met Humphrey Bogart in person. Oh, he was tough as nails, that fellow. He was all business. Would have made a dandy Navy man. Dandy. Wait a minute. What is Penelope doing in here with the son of the monster? <laughs> Matter of fact, what is the son of the monster doing in here at all? Where's my Bogart, my Flynn, my John Wayne? Where, where? I don't understand, Captain. I had him right on the counter when Commander McHale came in. <laughs> McHale? Come back here with my movies, you cowards! <laughs> hey, hey, fellas, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hey, look at the Captain's waving bye-bye. Wave bye-bye, man. Bye! Bye! <laughs> I could just scream. <laughs> you realize how long Skipper and Willie have been out there? Since half past seven. Can't you even talk, Navy? They've been out there since seven bells. All right, Mr. Parker, since seven bells. What time is it now? It's half past eleven. <laughs> oh, I bet they're lost. Ah. Not the skipper. Why, he knows these islands like I know Bensonhurst. Blindfold me anywhere in Brooklyn, and I can tell from the smell what block I'm getting mugged in. <laughs> Boy, suppose a nip's got him. Ah, so? Those Japanese sneaky fellas. They walk jungle with no sound. <laughs> Boy, do you realize at this very minute that skipper might be undergoing some devilish torture? <laughs> Oh, now explain the joke to me, Skip. Later, Willie, later. Hamakawa. Hamakawa, Hamakawa. Oh, ho, ho, slow down, boy, slow down. How many? A haku, haku. Miku, Miku. What does it mean? We're surrounded by armed men. Hey, hi, Skip. How are you? Boy, are we worried about you. Uh, thanks. Hey, what was all that jabbering? Fuji taught it to me. It's Japanese for come out with your hands up and meet your ancestors. Uh, you almost had the pleasure. Come on. Hey, you guys. Say hello to an old and good friend, Chief Mako Mako. Hi, hi, Chief. 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 Hi, Chief.
What did he say? What did he say? Well, the chief says that uh, he greets you as the lagoon greets the morning sun and uh, begs you to treat uh, Tuvalagi as your own home. Uh, hi, my name is George Christie. Just call me Christie. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. And the chief also says that the first gentleman who touches one of his daughters gets shish kebabed with the pig sticker. <laughs> I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. No, I didn't touch her. <laughs> nice work, crazy legs. Oh, yeah, before I forget, uh, when we get back to the boat, radio the captain. He was wrong about that small party of nips here on Tuvalagi. Oh, boy, that's good news. There's a whole company of them, 130. 130? <laughs> what do we do? Well, we just sit back and relax and, and observe. That's what we're here for. Yeah, but what about the Japs? Well, let them get their own dames. <laughs> Come on, Chief. Oh, ain't nothing to worry about, Happy. There's a whole mountain between us. The critters are clear on the other side of the island. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Parker, in your message to old Ironbottom, add a P.S. Regards to Penelope and all the girls on Blueberry Hill. Uh, on that message, a P.S. to up it. Bup, bup, did em, dat em, want em chew. Morning report, sir. Well. Nice to see you in such a good mood, sir. Good mood? Why would you say a thing like that? You were singing. I can't help it. I can't get that blasted song out of my head, and as a matter of fact, I'm in a foul mood this morning. I've run out of marmalade for my tea. <laughs> so that supply convoy should be here. I wonder what's holding it up. Well, there were headwinds, Carpenter. Headwinds and heavy seas. The last reports I got, they were batting down somewhere around in there. That'll be three days away. And they flam, and they flam all over the day. Oh, brothers. Bad news? No, it's that song again. Oh, what's this? Subject enemy troop movements on Tuvalagi. Oh. Last night, the rains came, and with the rains, the enemy. Six additional platoons of infantry, plus four light artillery pieces. Although our supplies run low, our morale runs high. We intrepidly await your command. Oh, I tell you, that Ensign Parker and his purple prose... <laughs> artillery? That could be trouble, sir. Trouble? This is a disaster. Do you know what those guns could do to that convoy? Oh, yes, sir. They could really homogenize your marmalade, sir. Nobody likes a smart lieutenant. <laughs> that convoy will be sitting ducks under those guns. And I don't dare break radio silence to warn them because it'll give away their position. I'll have to ask Mikhail to help us. <laughs> and you want the little dolly dumpling. What a good picture, eh, Skipper? I've never seen John Wayne braver. <laughs> Skipper? Uh, uh, uh. I got a message from Binghamton. Oh. He says that there's a convoy coming through the straits. <laughs> coming through the straits tonight at 12 o'clock. That's two hours from now. I uh, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Yeah, but Skip, with those nip guns up on the cliff, if we don't do something, that convoy's gonna be sunk. Oh, uh, what's the captain have in mind? Well, he says, protect convoy at all, at all costs. Uh, anything else? Well, he says good luck, but we need more than that. We need help. Nah. <laughs> now, Binghamton would have sent it if he had it. Now, what we need is uh, something to decoy him from it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We'll attack. Attack! Attack 300 Japanese, Shh. and we've... <laughs> we've only got eight men? Well, you got more than eight men, Chuck. Well, you got... John and Humphrey and Errol. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's 11. Yeah. <laughs> now, here we are, and here's the Japanese with their artillery. Now, they got their guns placed so they can fire on the convoy passing down through the straits. We got to get them to move their gun from here to here. To do this, we gotta hit him with the works. 
Task Force Hollywood. Yeah, but how do we know they have an observer at this end of the island to hear us? Well, we saw one on our recon, holed up in a cave out on the point with a set of binoculars and a field telephone. Right. Oh, you mean man. we're putting on this whole show for one century? Do you realize that this works will make naval history? Yeah, if it doesn't, we'll be naval history. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, good old American know-how. Yeah, you tell him, Chuck. <laughs> hey, Tink, you got everything all spliced together? Yes, get ready to roll. Good. Well, there you are, Chuck. How can we lose? Look who we got on our side. Errol Flynn and his Lafayette Escadrille Squadron. Humphrey Bogart and his Sherman tanks at Tobruk. And John Wayne with his Union Cavalry. And for an encore, the British fleet versus the German Navy in the Battle of the North Atlantic. <laughs> Plus, the entire and original cast of This is the Army. Gosh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Corn, immediate seating in the loggia. <laughs> there you are, Chuck. You better get your front seat. Hey, hey, and don't forget now, three blinks on the light, right? Right. Uh, uh, there they are, Tinker. Hi, right, Gully. Hey, what's in this other reel? Oh, this is all the love stuff and music I had left over after I spliced together the battle scenes. Ah. Well, Skip, we got everything unloaded. Good, good. Oh, unloaded? I wish I was loaded. Ah, come on. Stop worrying. What are you worrying about? He can only live once. I'm not scared of dying. I'm just scared of what Bingerton's gonna do to us when he finds out how I cut up his war movie. <laughs> All right, now take these horns out just as far as that wild stretch, right? All right, watch my signals. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's good. That's good, Groob. Okay, okay. Okay. Hold it, Willie. Now bring in Errol Flynn and his spads to soften up the beaches. Come on. some offshore south. One battle in the North Atlantic coming up. Right. That's it. <laughs> okay, Tink. Sneak in the LSTs. And I want Humphrey Bogart with his Sherman tanks. <laughs> All right, here they come. There go the tanks ashore. They're going to need covering bombardment. Fire torpedo one. Tiki wa soto no kazu da. Taiho wo kita kara minami e ido. Hey, Tink, what's that? Oh, here comes John Wayne in Vicksburg with the Union Cavalry. Yippee! Charge! Yankee. <laughs> Parker, we're out of ammo. Yeah, still no word for the nips. Looks like a little diversion didn't work. 
Jap shell. Yeah, it's a near miss. If we want to get off this beach, we better get towed to the lower sights off our transportation. Put on that rear tank. Put but it on. Skip! Stop by, you want me to put it on? But Skip, I... Will you stop by, you put it on and loud, loud. Come on, will you? Hurry up, will you, Tink? I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I try to tell you, Skip, that was little Dolly Dumpling. I'm trying. Before the I'm lips trying, trying. I'm Hurry up, trying. Will you? Oh, no, stop it. Wait a minute. Playmates? <laughs> Jory friends? Shogeki Kaishi! Shogeki Kaishi! But we'll be jolly friends. Hey, Skip, here comes the bowl. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. And what about the projector? Leave it. Come on, Skip. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, I can't. I can't leave that kid behind. Oh, yeah, Skip. Yeah. There goes a great little trooper, fellas. <laughs> Officers and men about 73, the Admiral has asked me to commend you for your ingenuity in carrying out what was the most difficult assignment in a most unorthodox manner. However, the convoy did get through safely, and I'd like to give you all what you so richly deserve. Oh? <laughs> However, there's a regulation against it. <laughs> Therefore, you'll all get two weeks shore leave. Ah! Hey! We're ready, sir. I'll be right in, Carpenter. Where was I? I you just rewarded us for two weeks shore leave, sir. Now, will that be uh, Australia or New Caledonia? I or... didn't finish. And for tearing up my war films, you can take your two weeks leave at your base across the bay. And if I catch one of you scoundrels on my island in the interim, I'll have you boiled in low-octane fuel oil. <laughs> that is all. What's the matter with him? Uh, yes, I'm I'm Oh, hey, Skipper, some new stuff must have come in on the convoy. Get a load of this. A Bob Hope and a Betty Grable. A hey, Bob it. Hope? Shh, shh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, you scoundrels, evacuate. <laughs> Uh, uh, pardon me, sir, but regulations regarding the borrowing of films without permission can be a rather... Too late. 